Welcome to Riverside Orthopedic Specialist Joint University Program for Total Hip and Knee Replacements. In this educational video, we are going to share some specific exercises and instructions for total knee replacement. The most important thing you should do following your procedure is to move frequently to work on flexibility, strength, and increased circulation. You can do this by walking every waking hour, even for a short distance in your home. After a knee replacement, it is important that you regain your full straightening and bending ability in your new knee joint. This will give you the best outcome with regards to pain, movement, and range of motion. This is best achieved by doing the following. When lying in bed or sitting in a chair, prop your leg up and place a towel roll under the ankle of your operated leg in order to completely straighten the knee. You should never place anything under your knee since this can prevent you from regaining your full range of motion. Secondly, your goal is to reach at least a 90 degree bend in your operated knee as demonstrated. In order to achieve this, we recommend sitting in a chair and bending your knee back as far as you can for 10 repetitions, five times a day for a total of 50. In addition, you will be instructed in the following exercises after your surgery. The first three should be done every waking hour for 20 repetitions on each leg in order to prevent blood clots. Having surgery places you at a greater risk for developing a clot since you will not be walking or moving as you normally would. These simple exercises keep the blood flowing and decrease the likelihood of a clot developing. The first exercise is ankle pumps. While lying on your back or in sitting, move your ankles forcefully up and down to contract the muscles in your calf. This muscle action will help pump the blood back up to your heart. The second exercise is called a quad set. Sit or lie on your back with your legs straight. Press the back of your knee downward to tighten the muscle on the front of your thigh. This muscle is called the quadriceps. Hold the contraction for two to three seconds. This exercise is also important to regain a fully straight knee after surgery. The third exercise is called a gluteal set. While lying on your back or in sitting, contract your buttock muscles or gluteals as if you were lifting your buttocks slightly off the bed. Hold for two to three seconds. Additional exercises that you will perform as you progress through therapy include the following. It's advised to start with 10 repetitions as tolerated on your operated leg and increase as you get stronger. Heel slides. Lie flat on your back and slide your heel towards your buttocks, bending your knee as far as you can tolerate. Hold for three seconds and return to the starting position. Knee extension over a roll. Lie on your back and place a firm roll under the knee of your operated leg. Note that this is the only time you should have your knee propped on a roll. It should be removed after you complete the exercise. Keeping your leg on the roll, straighten your knee completely and hold the contraction for two to three seconds and then lower slowly. Straight leg raises. Lie on your back with your surgical knee straight and non-operated knee bent. Keep the operated leg completely straight and raise it slowly to the height of the opposite knee. Hold two to three seconds, then slowly lower. The next two exercises are performed in a seated position. Knee extension in sitting. While sitting in a chair or on the edge of the bed, kick your operated leg out to fully straighten your knee. Hold for two to three seconds and then lower slowly. Knee bending and sitting. As previously demonstrated, this is a good position to work on flexing your knee. Bend your operated knee back as far as you can and hold for five seconds. Remember, your goal is to reach at least 90 degrees as you progress. This will be demonstrated to you by your physical therapist. 
Your physical therapist may instruct you in additional exercises as you progress through your therapy. You'll be provided with a home exercise program and discharge instructions prior to leaving the hospital. We hope you found this information helpful. If you have any questions, please contact your Total Joint Navigator.